Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study another aspect of technical drawing, which is on tangency. And we are analyzing this question here. Now, if you look at this diagram, the first thing you should first of all draw is your vertical and horizontal line, center line, because this is centralized. Can you see that? So let's do that and see. So you draw your vertical. Align this way. This is your T square. And you draw it like this. Vertical line. You see that? And also your horizontal line. This way. The horizontal line this way. See that you draw your vertical and horizontal line, <clears throat> right? So they are meeting at this point. This is the center line here. Now, if you look at the diagram again, you discover that there is another center line here. This is my center line, right? Which I just got here. Now, there's another center line that's coming. This is the vertical line. If you can look at this. The other line coming at an angle of what 30 degree. So I'm going to draw my angle of 30 degree. I told you guys earlier when my set square you're, you're counting from the horizontal, right? You are moving from the horizontal. So if I stand it this way on my T square, right? I'm going to move it. We're taking my vertical to be zero now. So this side will be 30 degree, standing this way. I'm going to draw my 30 degree like this. Can you see that? I'm standing to my T square. So it means that the angle between this vertical line and this is what 30 degree. Now, if you look at that diagram very well again, you see that from here to here is 40. Right? So I'm going to measure another two parallel lines to this vertical line, which is what 40. And this is what I will do to get my 40. That means I'll measure 20 at the left, 20 at the right. So I'll do this. Since I stood my T square this way to get 30, right? Then I'll slide it this way, sitting it down this other way around to get um, 60 to make both of them 90. I'm going to draw a line this way from that center line also, right? So I'm going to draw a line like this faint line so you can see the angle between this vertical line and this one is what 90 degrees can you see that so what I'll do is I'll take my compass and I'll measure um, 20 to the left and 20 to the right so measure my 20 to the left and to the right so this is what we have so take 0 you mark 20 can you see that and I'll place it here I'll mark left 20 I'm going to mark right 20. That again. So since I use 30 to draw this, I also place my T square on top of this. And I'm going to measure this line. Like this. And I measure this also. Like this. What do you notice? They are all parallel to each other. So from here to here is now 40. Now if you notice again that there is a kind of arc here and the rest of that arc is what 23 from this center so I'll measure 23 on my rule and I'll draw an arc taking with this at this point so you measure 23 measure 23 from 0 this is 23 here right and I'll place it at the center here then get it to this point and I'm going to draw my arc. Can you see that? I'm going to draw my arc. Can I see that? And um, if you look at this very well again, 
you discover that from this same center that you draw here, from this center, the height is what? 13. So I'm going to measure 13 upward. 13 what? Upward. So this is what I have. Taking my meter rule, and I'm going to measure 13. So this is 13 here. From 0 is 10. 11, 12, 13. This is my point 13. And I'm going to take my first square and show that it is parallel to this line. So I know that if I move to my T square here, you can see that this is my T square. If I move it on it, I'll move it to this line. And I'm going to draw my parallel line this way. Can you see that? Now, if you still look at this, there is an arc, right? There is an arc here that is 30 degrees, 30 radius of 30 from this point 13 you measured just now. So you measure radius 13 on your meter rule. Measure 13 on meter, radius 30 on your meter rule. You can see that, right? And you come to this point that you measured from here to here is 13. You come to this point and you cut an arc here. Right? When you do that, you also come to the next point too. To the next point 13. And you cut another arc here, 30. Because now you now place it at this point you bisected. And you draw your a thin line. Hmm? You come here too, you do the same thing. You draw your arc, thin line. All good. So when you've done that, you'll be having something like this. Is that again? Now still, if you look at your diagram also, you see that there's a radius from this point here, from this center, and that radius was 53. So you measure 53 and draw from the center here. And this is what you have. So measure 53 from 0 towards 53. Right? And place at the center here. Can you see that? Then you draw your line. You, as you're drawing it, you realize it's 63. 0 to 5 and 3. Somewhere around here. And you place it here. And you draw. And you ensure that the whole gauge. Right? So. So, let's do this. This is what you'll be having. So, you can take in this. Right? And you can come back here also. I'm taking this guy too. Stop here. Right? So I'll come here too, do the same thing here too. Now I can use my meter rule and join from here to this point. And join from here to this point. Now I have done this. Now what you do next again is that you're going to notice the center. This is the center line. Let me show you that very well. This is the center line that we draw earlier. This line here. So you just draw a straight line this way. Hmm? And if you look at our diagram very well, you discover that from here to here is what? 34. I'm going to measure 17, 17 to the left and to the right. And you have this. Take a meter rule. You measure 17 from here to this point is what? 17. Mm -hmm. And you place it at the center I showed you earlier, this line, and the meet here. And you measure 17 to the left. And you measure 17 to the right. Right? Then you project them upward. You do what? You project them upward. Let me just take this up a little bit. 
so you project them upward so I have this project them upward like this can you see what I'm doing? Faint line upward and you come here also project it upward So they are all meeting at this point of the horizontal line here and at this point of the horizontal line here. Now if you look at this very well, you discover that the angle, the radius here is what? 20. How good? Is what? 20. So you are going to measure 20 from here. You measure 20 from here. I'll show you are going to measure 20 from here. From this point, that this your line meets the horizontal line here, which is connected to the center line. You draw it right. So I measure my 20. So from 0 to 2, this 20 here. So this will stop. Right? And I'm going to draw it down. Print line. Can you see that? Now, if you look at something here very well, you discover that this is more like <clears throat> a pothole. Just like if I watch my previous video, I use external arc, external circle, as I call them pothole because it is deep. So you need to fill potholes to avoid accident, right? So I want to fill this. So that means I'm going to add whenever I see a curve inward where you are adding. So 20 and it's connected to what? 30. So 20 plus 30 is what? 50. So I'll take my 50, knowing fully where that, take my 50 radius, I'll measure my 50 with my compass and my ruler here, <clears throat> from 0, I'm going to measure 50, which is at this point here, right, and you, you've already drawn your parallel line, now you now go where you draw your arc of 30, we use this point to draw this arc of 30. And you place it on that arc, right? And you are going to bisect it on this your line you draw. This is your 20 you measured from here where you draw, right? So with the same radius of 20, because the arc there is 20, you measure 20. This 20. And place other arc here. That point there intersect. And you are going to draw this guy. You just gauge it and you draw that guy. Then do that so you see. So you're going to draw this guy. Mm -hmm. So we draw that guy, you can just draw it down from this point where they meet. All good. The same thing will happen here too. From this point, you cut this line here, it's meeting at this point here, right? So you're going to measure the radius of this arc here. And what is the radius of that arc? The radius of the arc is 55, right? So I'm going to measure 55 from that point. So I'll measure 55 from this line where it meets the horizontal line here, I'll measure 55. So from 0, I'll measure 55, which is here, right? And with the help of my set square and t square, I'm going to draw a line downward this way. Right? Draw a line downward this way. Is that again? So, this is my parallel line. Now, what do you notice? Like I said earlier, this is also a kind of pot hole you're going to fill. Right? Now, 55, where is it, where is it tangent to? Tangent to 53. So 55 plus 53 is 108. So you measure 108 on your meter rule. So from 0 straight down to 108 is here. Right? So I'm going to come at this point because you look at it's coming from the center. This 53 is drawn from the center here. Hmm? Like what I'm showing here, this is what I'm trying to say. In fact, this 53 is drawn from the center, so I'll draw my arc from the center. So, radius of 53, 
I place it at the center here and I'm going to cut that horizontal that parallel line, vertical line I draw this vertical line. So from that point with the radius of that same 53 or I'll just place it here and I'll gauge it at this point here. Place it and I'll gauge it, sorry. All of this you need to get it. So I'm having that. So this is what we are having. This is what we're having. So I can just do this. So in the long run, this is what we all have here. And that is the spanner that we are asked to draw. So if you are done, you just draw your your dimension. This is radius 53. And this is radius 55. And this is Radius 30, right? And this guy here is dimension of what? 40. Forty. How good? Mm -hmm, that's what you have. And so on. So you must fill in all the dimension. So this is tangential of the spanner. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.